classes are live these need super speciality classes are focused on paper one internal medicine on the whole because our idea our ideology is that most of the students they do read they do read properly the subject of their choice but they have slight difference in reading in case of paper one owing to the fact that paper one is voluminous it is made up of entire internal medicine that is your feeding speciality they call it say suppose you have selected cardiology as as, as a speciality of your choice to write dm, uh, DM need super speciality exam so first paper one will have 40 marks that come from three super special three feeding specialities internal medicine pediatrics and pulmonology because md pulmonology md pediatric and md internal medicine students are eligible to write cardiology exam so because owing to the voluminous uh, topics that crept in uh, that make formation of paper one question paper so most of the students tend to under study it reading uh, leading to uh, loss of lot of marks in paper one so that should not happen with this aim we have come up so quickly we will be revising twice a week we will be joining with you live online classes first time in the india in the entire country and only dna app is doing it no nobody else is doing for dm need super speciality so kindly make use of this opportunity today we shall be discussing we have, we have got a wonderful uh, class to discuss and today we shall be discussing cardiology we are continuing our discussion that is a subtopic in cardiology we shall be discussing congenital heart diseases congenital heart disease congenital heart disease congenital heart disease so in this we shall be discussing first the embryology So in this we shall be discussing first the embryology. I am having slightly difficulty in projecting this out. So please bear with me. So welcome back. Embryology we shall be discussing first. So we all know that uh, uh, embryology, understanding of embryology plays an important role in uh, understanding the topic of congenital heart disease. All right, in understanding the topic of congenital heart disease. So please remember that uh, whenever you are classifying or you are understanding the classification of congenital heart disease, you have to have a small basic background of embryology of the uh, entire cardiovascular system. So we will not waste much time. We will just give you a brief of embryology here. Please remember there is what is known as cardiac progenitor cells. In Braunwald's what is written is facing problem in streaming In brown wall, what is written is so welcome back. Actually, there was a problem in streaming, now it has sorted out. So, 
in today's class i shall be discussing about embryology cardiac embryology first so in this what bronwald says that bronwald the monogram of cardiology says that third week uh, the there is initiation or beginning of the development of heart tubes and the entire heart is formed by eighth week of gestation eighth week of gestation please remember this point all right so the cardiac progenitor cells that arise from the lateral splanc splanchnic mesoderm you will have to remember so lateral splanchnic mesoderm lateral splanchnic mesoderm is going to give rise to the cardiac progenitor cells cardiac progenitor cells these cardiac progenitor cells migrate to the midline to form heart tube all right now this heart tube what is this heart tube com composed of the heart tube is composed of a single layer of endocardial cells single layer of the endocardium and along with a single layer of cardiac myocytes along with a single layer of cardiac myocytes all right yeah that's great so apart from this what happens is there is this heart tube undergoes asymmetric looping to form a separate uh, right sided chamber and a left sided chamber on the whole then atria are differentiated from the ventricles there is a whole lot of story in embryology a whole lot of process in embryology which is not that important for dm neat super speciality exam but these important points like which is the gene expression responsible for formation of uh, the differentiation of chambers one question that might be asked to you what is the what is the gene expression gene responsible for development of heart tube or differentiation of heart tube into chambers it is islet 1 gene name of the gene is islet 1 you will have to remember this point next so the chamber differentiation further go growth of the atria further growth of the ventricles formation of the heart valves and all Uh, the gene that is responsible the gene expression that is responsible and that is uh, you know uh, helping out in differentiation of these chambers into atria ventricle right side left side into valves and all is islet 1 you will have to remember this point next is what happens is the cardiac myocytes they secrete extracellular hyaluronic rich matrix so this extracellular hy hyaluronic extracellular matrix is secreted by cardiac myocytes this matrix is hyaluronic acid rich this is responsible this is called as cardiac jelly cardiac jelly is responsible for development of what cardiac jelly is responsible for development of the heart valves the cardiac valves please remember what are the, what is the embryological precursor of heart valves if they ask you it is the cardiac jelly cardiac jelly is responsible for the and along with this the endocardial cushions uh, the cardiac valves of atria ventricle in between the atria and ventricles in between the ventricle and major vessels uh, are nothing but they are derived from cardiac jelly and what is this cardiac jelly cardiac jelly is single layer of myocardial cells the single layer of myocardial cells in the heart tube they secrete the extracellular matrix extracellular matrix uh, which is hyaluronic acid rich that is responsible for that is responsible for uh, formation of this jelly gel like material called as cardiac jelly which gives rise to valves all right then the mesenchymal cells form mature valve leaflets the mesenchymal cells the mesenchymal cells are responsible for the mesenchymal cells are responsible for mature valve leaflets mature valve leaflets the mesenchymal cells are responsible for mature valve leaflet throughout this discussion 
I am associated with this online app. I am associated with you through this DNA Medical Online app. This DNA Medical Online app helps us to have a good live chat. So there are few students joined and they want to talk to us. They are saying they are asking, they are wishing me out. Thank you so much. All right. So through this app, you may you might always you know have a live discussion throughout the class. Right. Next. The there are certain uh, important points in embryology like the presence of neural crest cells, importance of neural crest cells, derivatives of neural crest cells. So what are the cardiovascular derivatives of neural crest cells? The aortic arch, the ductus arteriosus and the carotid arteries. The aortic arch, please remember, the aortic arch, the tunica media of the aortic arch, the ductus arteriosus, ductus arteriosus and the carotids, the carotid arteries. These are uh, derived from the neural crest cells. All right, neural crest cells. So we all know the importance of these neural crest cells in ganglionomas or paraganglionomas uh, and pheochromocytomas in this chapter. Again, we'll discuss all these points. But aortic arch, ductus arteriosus, carotid arteries, bilaterally, they are derived from the both carotid, carotid arteries that derived from the neural crest cells. Please remember during the development of these uh, aortic arch, ductus arteries and carotid arteries, the neural crest cells are completely dependent on two important micronutrients or two important vitamins. We have got vitamin A and folic acid. Vitamin A and folic acid. So deficiency of folate or deficiency of vitamin A might result in abnormal dysplastic development of the derivatives of neural clash cells especially in the cardiovascular system resulting in various congenital heart diseases. So with this point let us now discuss with this now uh, let us now discuss the etiology of congenital heart diseases. The important etiological aspects of congenital heart diseases include the first one as you all know the, the congenital heart diseases are classified into right to left shunts, left to right shunts, or acyanotic congenital heart disease, cyanotic congenital heart disease, obstructive lesions, left ventricular obstructive lesions, right ventricular obstructive tract lesions, and all. Uh, or different types of classifications are there. That is not important very much for um, cardiology exam per se. But what is more important is etiology. A lot of questions are coming even in paper one also from the etiology of congenital heart disease. Question comes. So please remember most of the times the etiologies are related to the chromosomal abnormalities. So what chromosomal abnormalities are associated with congenital heart disease? Let us see. So etiologies of congenital heart disease in this. The first one is the chromosomal abnormalities. So what chromosomal abnormalities result in congenital heart diseases? The first one is Trisomy 21. Trisomy 21 or Down syndrome is associated with atrioventricular canal defects. It is associated with AV canal defects. Please remember this point. It is associated with AV canal defects. AV canal defects. All right. AV canal defects. Next. Abnormalities of chromosome 22. Long arm of chromosome 22. This chromosome 22 is associated with Dijord syndrome. And velo cardiofacial anomalies. Velo cardiofacial anomalies. Velo cardiofacial anomalies. Actually, Dijord syndrome and velo cardiofacial anomaly result in conotruncal defects conotruncal defect so atrioventricular canal defect conotruncal defects these are the various classifications anatomical classification of congenital heart diseases right 
genes responsible for several other def defects like uh, long QT syndrome, long QT syndrome, Marfan syndrome, Holt Oram syndrome, Ellis Van Creveld syndrome. Uh, if you read textbook of pediatrics and all in that etiologies, uh, furthermore, they are the syndromic etiologies are mentioned. You can go through that. Most of the patients uh, have the genetic uh, mutations which are autosomal dominant in nature. Autosomal dominant, all these are all these chromosomal aberrations may present with uh, most of, along, uh, along with a few other systemic involvement, they present usually with autosomal dominance type of inheritance. There are certain env environmental factors which are responsible for congenital heart disease. In this, the rubella syndrome. What are the important points about rubella syndrome? Patient has got cataract, deafness, and microcephaly. So cataract, the child has the neonate is born with cataracts, deafness and microcephaly. All right, then certain drugs like thalidomide. Thalidomide is responsible for uh, limb deformities and along with that Epstein anomaly or tricuspid valve defects, tricuspid anomalies. All right. And uh, other cardiac malformations may also present. Then alcohol. Is alcohol teratogenic? Answer is yes. At a higher uh, a chronic alcoholic person female if she gets pregnant definitely it is teratogenic to the child resulting in fetal alcohol syndrome this fetal alcohol syndrome has got microcephaly mental retardation along with that what is the congenital heart disease associated with alcohol induced fetal alcohol syndrome is so what's your answer anybody wants to answer Alcohol is associated with what congenital anomaly? I just want to see in the app. Dr. Sojanya, you have answered it right. Dr. Sojanya has answered it right. I welcome you all, my students. Please uh, get in touch with the app. Please get in touch with the live chat in the app so that you get involved. All right. So next on your mobile screen, I'm just asking you this question and I'm write, writing the answer. It is ventricular septal defect the most common congenital heart disease associated with fetal alcohol syndrome is association of cardiac malformation of the ventricular septum ventricular septal defects ventricular septal defects are often the most common cardiac defects associated with fetal alcohol syndrome then lithium also affects the lithium the drug like lithium affects the tricuspid valve it's a known fact so there are various other uh, etiologies of congenital heart disease apart from this the Ellis-Van-Creveld syndrome, Holt-Oram syndrome.